Hey, welcome back to Score Off Business. So, Jacqueline, we were starting to talk about data beforehand. And so, I think of some of the, the software that I use, um, like um, MailChimp, mm. Shopify, um, they, and they have, you know, they keep up with data. So, talk about that and, you know, what folks can do. With it. Well, you want to use data, so you have to look at what type do we want third party data? You know, yeah. are we going out to the U.S. Census Bureau to get that data, which you should? Right. Or do you, and it also looks at your internal the data, the data that you own. So, who makes up your audience um, when they're opening? Who's on your email list? You know, who's in your Facebook following? And so, if you're running ad campaigns, especially on Facebook, you see all that information. Mm -hmm. And so, you have to become familiar with your. Um, who is in your audience. I have a client and we just ran a Facebook leads campaign. And mm -hmm. so for this particular um, organization, it's travel. And we wanted to know who makes up the audience for this particular trip that she's proposing. Mm -hmm. And so ironically, we were thinking it's you know a younger demographic, but turns out it's the older demographic I think at 55 and older, mm -hmm. but that's good information. Now that we know that, we know we can craft our message that caters mm -hmm. to that. The conversation for a 55 year old is different yeah. than a conversation for a 30 year old. That's why you need to make sure you understand who's in your audience so that you don't give a 30 year old message to a 65 plus year old audience. Right. That makes a lot of sense. You know, um, I used to think of Facebook as really more business to consumer, mm -hmm. but I, I think that may not be the case anymore. What's it's your not, take? And it never has really been. No, yeah. that is the common, I hear that all the time. I don't want to yeah. be on Facebook because that's B to C. And in general, I can see the argument with that because, you yeah. know, but at the same time, there are a billion people on Facebook. Now, a lot of that is outside of the U.S., but that's a lot of, that's a lot of people. And so even if, you your business you may not be able to get to the business you want on Facebook yeah. you can get to the decision maker of that yeah. business you know and I do that um, there's a few different ways you can do that but you can even download your LinkedIn connections right. and create a lookalike campaign in Facebook and market to them that way yeah and so you want to be sensitive about that because again people aren't necessarily on Facebook to make those decisions right but so you have to again goes back to that planning and strategy what is my yeah. planning process look like in order to go after these individuals on a different platform? Well, you know, the, the, when I came to see that, you know, and it sounds like I was wrong all along, but I don't think most people realize the extent to which Facebook can target. Yeah, and Facebook, in my opinion, has some of the best targeting. Yeah. You know, we may not, you know, you may disagree with Facebook on a few other things, but as far as their ad platform, yeah. you really can get very granular and pinpoint exactly who you're going after with Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about YouTube? I mean, every video's a new thing. I was just setting up something for a client yesterday, and you can even live, you can go live on YouTube. Yeah. So that's new. And so um, I think video is, that's where marketing is headed. And so not everybody mm -hmm. is comfortable with that. And so you really have to, you know, kind of do a soul search and say, can I, am I ready for that step? But looking at video as a strategy is something that you need to consider for your marketing plan. And so if it's not, so, it's, again, social media is not the only video we're talking about. Right. It could be hiring in a videographer to create a quick 30 to 45 second mo um, video for you and use it on your website. Yeah. Video content performs better than text. And so being very skillful, but even there, good con video won't save bad content. Right. You have to have good content content regardless. Yeah, and, and part of that is understanding who you're going after. You and, have to understand that audience. Yeah. And again, that's really getting in there, looking at the data, who am I targeting? And then going through, we have a whole process that we go through at Crayons and Marketers to develop those personas. Right. And you know, those personas are that archetype of your, your um, key demographic, who that person yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and it might be, it, it could be anybody. It could be, you know, ladies that are 19 to 24. It could be men that are 45 to 50. 
And it, you want to look at, you know, especially if you're going after, if it's B2B, you want to go after you, um, the industry, who the individual is, who is the decision maker right. that you're targeting, what motivates this decision maker. Yeah. For a lot of companies, this person wants to be the hero. They want to be looked yeah. at as the hero of the situation. And so your job is to come in with your solution to make them be the hero. Th yeah. So your marketing needs to say, hey, we can help you be the hero. That is one of the smartest things I've ever heard. I spent a lot of years as a sales professional and finding out who made the who makes the decision and what motivates them, what motivates them and then right. trying to help them get it that's what but that's yes, what it's all that's about. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, when you think of it that way, you have to look at your marketing in some regard. It should run right along to your business, um, your business objectives, but also your sales and business development process. Mm -hmm. should go, all that goes, business plan, marketing, sales and business development, right. goes hand in hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you might be doing a marketing campaign that will send out a certain number of emails or letters or whatever, right. you know, and then you follow up. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, I am so proud of you for getting Thank all you. of these Thank different you. certifications. And, you know, one point you made that I think is really good is you get them, they're hard to get, and but you also need to take time to go after you, it. Well, you have to do that and you have to do the yeah. work. And the work is not going to just fall in your lap because you're certified. It's a lot of businesses yeah. that are certified, but it's going to be those businesses that actually pursue the work and look right. to partner. You know, so I'm let, letting companies know like, hey, we're yeah. ready to partner. Okay. Hey, we are going to have to break okay. for today. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, ladies and gents, we'll see you next week. <laughs>